Hey folks, your OS reviews are watching our video unboxing and first impressions look at the Zhiyun Smooth Q. This is a three axis smartphone stabilizer or a gimbal, and it's the most uh, budget conscious model in the company's current lineup. They've had previous generation models that were more expensive. This one can be found for under a hundred, and I'll leave a link down below. It goes on sale sometimes for much less than that even. Um, so a smartphone gimbal is really helpful if, you're, if you are someone who captures lots of video, lots of uh, walking footage with your phone, and you'll realize that without a good optical image stabilization system, even if your phone does have OIS, uh, a lot of times the footage will still seem unnatural and jumpy. So with the gimbal, it's a mechanical system assisted using uh, pretty high-tech electronics that mitigates your walking and shakiness, and as a result, the footage seems uh, beautiful and smooth, just like what you wait even find on a movie or on a film, so this is something that really dramatically improves the quality of your video. The Smooth Q also has some fancy tricks. It does require power to be operated. You can manually change the uh, motion by the motor so it can spin at different degrees to capture and, and pan around in your shots. It also has an automatic panning mode so it can detect faces and keep on tracking your face even as you know, you're moving around automatically, which is really cool. Um, build quality here is going to be made out of plastic since it's, again, slightly less expensive than previous models. You can also flip the screen orientation using one button, which is cool. has 12 hours of uh, battery performance on a single charge and includes a standard, I believe, micro USB cable for charging. So sliding open this box, we have a smaller one on the inside and in here we just have what looks like the gimbal itself protected in a hard shell carrying case. Otherwise, there's just the battery and a user manual. So from here we can see this is, actually there's a strap. There's a carrying strap. You can wear it almost like a bag for easier transport uh, that you can tie onto the hard shell case. And in here we have the charging cable. So again, it is standard micro USB. It gets fully charged in under two hours. Here we have the Smooth Q user guide, and I actually would recommend kind of uh, flipping through this because there are lots of features I think first time gimbal users will not expect they're able to do. There's also a companion app that you can download through the phone for better navigation and for the face tracking feature that uses the proprietary app, um, and you can take a closer look at that through the manual, which is pretty well documented. Finally, we can just look at the case and the gimbal. There we go. It looks like a small kind of guitar or violin case, so pretty well constructed. The company's logo on the top here. All right, opening up, we can see that we have just the gimbal on the inside. Um, so immediately, from first impressions, you can tell that it is, again, made out of plastic as opposed to aluminum or metal on the more expensive ones, which can sell for twice the price of this. It really is quite affordable, and it connects to your phone using Bluetooth, so your Wi-Fi is still able to connect to a cellular network. Um, the handle here actually feels pretty comfortable. It's an ergonomic overall shape, as you can see. There's a micro USB port for charging. It's not covered up, so it's not necessarily element proof. It's certainly not waterproof. Um, so if it's raining outside, be a little bit more cautious. This is a joystick. It actually feels pretty good on first impressions. So you can use this again to pan and tilt the motor automatically or manually. And here's the record key for starting a video or starting a photo. There's also a mode selection key. There is also one for changing the orientation. And uh, again, this is just the primary motor. This is where the phone fits into place. And you can see it's a pretty standard kind of uh, adapter where it's made out of a soft touch rubber that prevents the phone from getting damaged. And you pull on this to fit phones up to six inches on here. Quickly looking at some of the uh, companion apps, there's actually two versions available on the Play Store. There is a, a one that pops up when you just search Zhiyun. And there's a some second one that's called ZY Play. That's actually the one that's recommended in the user manual. They both will work with this uh, specific model. So the ZY Play, which is a recommended one, if we tap on that, uh, basically what you do when you tap on device is connect to it using Bluetooth. To turn on the gimbal, you just tap on the record key for about three seconds, and then you'll see a blue light start to flash, and what that means is it's entered the pairing Bluetooth mode, um, ready to connect. 
You can actually use the gimbal without connecting to Bluetooth if you're just recording it and you don't want to download the app. It still works perfectly fine. You just have to use the manual controls as opposed to virtual ones on screen and you just use the native camera app on your phone. So uh, when you first turn it on, it automatically calibrates the motors. The recommendation is actually to just like sit it down on a flat table or surface for it to calibrate. But I find that uh, just you know holding it vertically works fine as well from my testing so far. Um, just putting in a phone before you turn it on is really important because it needs to know the phone's weight for the calibration to occur. Um, and once the phone is in place, there are no real issues. The phone grip though does really tend to work only with uh, fairly modern phones that's relatively slim. Any phone within the past five years will work, but if you have a really old device that is chunky and thick, it's not gonna be held into place very easily in the phone grip. Um, but otherwise, no issues there. Controls all fully work. I'll show you that in a second. Back to the app here. Um, pairing process, fairly simple. Once you're paired, you can access uh, the recording mode inside the app, which gives you a proprietary option to take a look at what you're recording. And there's also virtual controls for panning around without using the button here. Um, in terms of uh, collector, this tells you and shows you some images that uh, other people have shot using their gimbals that is shared publicly, which is pretty cool. And under me, you can take a look at your profile and your account and firmware information. Now, occasionally firmware updates are available for the gimbal, but they are pushed through using Bluetooth. They're actually using a USB, so you have to download it on your computer, connect this to your computer to update the firmware. And finally, a very quick demo of the gimbal before we go. You can see that, again, it just holds position really well. Even if, if you're dramatically shifting the angle, it holds the camera position in a pretty stable way. And if you are really quickly changing angle, um, it will eventually come over, but it uh, mitigates that jerkiness in your motion. So it works really well uh, with you know almost all types of uh, mobile cameras that I've I've tried. Um, otherwise, again, changing the tilt angle itself, it's a little bit slow, but it works. You can see you can manually rotate it and it goes, you know, 360 degrees. So it goes all the way up um, t facing you if you want to do some maybe FaceTime or some vlogs and then of course go all the way over again. So it works again surprisingly well. So we'll be doing a lot more testing with this and come out with a more complete review soon. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been our unboxing and first impressions look at the Zhiyun Smooth 3 low cost.